Hi TikTok, so today I'm going to talk to you about an other NPC from my D&D slash Final Fantasy XIV game. Her name is Tedis, she is a dryad from the Lakelands area. She is tethered to the Lavender Forest near Crystarium. She is a somewhat young elemental, she never knew uh, the world before the Flood of Light, so she grew up uh, in the aftermath. And the only real uh, threats to the forests weren't the humans, but the sin eaters that would randomly try and devour uh, ether where they could find it. She used to play pranks on the wogs, so like the wolves, humanoids, beasts, uh, with the help of trends and gremlins. But the thing is uh, with gremlins, it's that they are awfully rude. They would just insult everyone that would near the forest and she used to call, scold them when they would randomly start insulting uh, adventurers that were trying to help uh, balance the world and hunt sin eaters. Occasionally the other elementals of the forest or the ocean would uh, team up and save a prey that was about to get devoured by a sin eater. They would also try and fence them from their natural environment so that they wouldn't well, uh, burn nature or absorb ether. As a dryad she has some cool powers such as accelerating the growth of plants or making uh, seeds instantly pop up as tiny plants. She can also jump from tree to tree which proved useful when she got involved with my players. She was to try and find a phonic stone to help them revive one of their friends, Badzol, and the other elementals that were helping them asked for help. Uh, she was to search in the forest. Eventually she found one uh, phonic stone on a mountain top in a crevice, and when she got to retrieve it, she was attacked by deranged trance, and she had to flee for life, so she would jump from tree to tree until the end of the forest. The thing is that she is an elemental and she's tethered to the forest, she can't really leave the forest unless she has some magical spell on her that uh, strengthen her physical body. So she was uh, in front of the city and she got sight of the Dran camp of Nogai and Mogai, uh, which I talked about in my previous video. So she got to that camp and eventually she left the phonic stone uh, to be kept by the NPCs that were there and my players retrieved it. So she even got to make uh, human friends, dryad friends and yeah, so that's really cool and I want to bring her back or like I really love dryads so I want to make more dryad characters as well.